Hello! Today I am going to be drawing a lighthouse from North Carolina. So here I've got two postcards to give me some um, images to look at. And I also have this statue. This is made out of clay and this is of Cape Hatteras. So I'm going to put that to the side. That's going to be my little uh, inspiration here. So I'm going to do two different drawings. And here you can see this is actually a postcard that was done in watercolor. And this is a collage of photographs. And I think all of them are really great designs, but I especially love the black and white lighthouse design. So it, the designs on the lighthouse, they make them unique and able to identify. Um, so I'm going to start off on two different pages here. So on this one, I'm going to do a vertical picture of my lighthouse. I think because they are so tall that you get to draw it bigger if you put it on the paper vertically. Now, if you do it on the paper and it's horizontal, you have to fit that little lighthouse in. Now, that gives you more room for a landscape. So I'll kind of show you what I mean on there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plan out where I want my lighthouse. And I'm going to use a pencil just to give me an idea. Let me zoom out here a little bit so you can see my whole page. All right. So when I have my paper here, I'm going to imagine where I want my lighthouse. I do not like when they are right in the center, right? Usually artists will off center to the left or to the right. So I'm gonna put my lighthouse to the right on this picture. And the first thing I do is I'm very lightly gonna come up with the guide for the main part. And one of the biggest mistakes I tend to have when I do this is I draw the lighthouse so big I don't leave room for the fun top. And that's where you have so much wonderful little detail where the light is. So I'm kind of making a little curve line here and a little curve line down here. And I'm trying to think to myself, okay, is that giving me enough room for the base? Now in some of these, you can see the lighthouse kind of keeps the same material all the way down. This is sort of stone or brick all the way down. But then you have one like Cape Hatteras that it changes. So you have this different base than you have at the top. So if this were to be all the same, if this was gonna be one of these other lighthouses, this would probably be okay. If I'm gonna do Cape Hatteras, I wanna do this a little bit higher up. But I think on this one, I will do Cape Lookout. So this should be fine. I'm actually gonna lower it a little bit. It's really important to get that guideline and I'm just gonna kind of sketch in and kind of take a look and say, okay, that's gonna be good. So I'm gonna grab my Sharpie, of course, so you can see, but I really recommend using pencil so you can erase anything. I cannot find my ruler, so I'm gonna use a clipboard to do the sides of this. I do think it really helps to use a straight edge to do the two sides. So the first thing I do is do that top and bottom make this one just a little curve because they are round, right? So it's gonna have a little curve to it. And I'm gonna do the bottom part curved. I'm gonna line up my two edges here, like so. And I'm going to trace with my Sharpie up and down so I'm not getting Sharpie onto my clipboard. And then I'm gonna do this side as well. All right, so definitely want to use a straight edge for those sides on a picture like this. All right, so look at that. I've got my the beginning of it, and do you see how big it is on the paper? You really wouldn't want it too, too small. You want it to be the star of your paper. So this one is going to be Cape Lookout. On this one, I'm going to do the lighthouse, this time on the left side, and maybe I will do Cape Hatteras for this one. This one is so small, I'm just going to freehand the sides. So I'm not gonna worry so much about it, just to give you an idea of how it looks when you turn your paper horizontally. So I'm gonna start off with that. Okay, now I wanna come over here and I'm gonna plan out my design. So for Cape Lookout, I'm gonna need to have those four triangles going across, right? And I'm actually, if I look at it, it's almost like I'm doing one, get that in focus there, one, two, three stripes. So I just need to go 
one, maybe here, two and three. Really helpful with the pencil. Now, if you did not want to do an exact lighthouse um, that exists, you could always change it up and create your own and just be inspired by the shape of a lighthouse. And we have to think about the lighthouses are really beautiful. And with GPS nowadays and all the technology, they're not as needed as they used to be, but they really did have an important purpose for people out at sea to be able to identify where they were on the coast. So if you imagine you were out on the North Carolina coast and you saw one of these lighthouses, then you would know where you were. If it was nighttime, however, you wouldn't be able to see all these beautiful designs. So you would see the light shining, right? Now, if they all just shone a light, a steady light, vroom, you wouldn't know where you were, but each lighthouse has its own unique way of flashing their lights, maybe one second on, two seconds off, one second on. And those patterns are how people could identify from into the ocean, okay, that was three seconds on and two seconds off, that must be um, Ocracoke. So they would know based on that. Now I would take this, you can see even my triangles are a little bit off and I can actually kind of fix that a little bit because that's gonna all be in black. So I can go in here and kind of fix that up and that's okay. And you can put little windows in there. So I'm not gonna color this all in, but you can imagine I would go very, very slowly and really take my time to completely color that in. I would not want to look like I rushed through that. So I won't color the whole thing, but just to give you an idea of how one of these little diamonds is gonna look. Okay, so now I'm gonna think about the tops of the lighthouses. And this is when you really wanna look at the detail. And I'm gonna use the photograph for here. So you've got, look at all these little kind of layers of it. It's kind of reminding me of the layers of a cake. So when I look at this lighthouse, I sort of, and this is at a different angle. So I curve mine down and this one's really curved up. This kind of angle is actually like I'm up in the air and this one would be looking like I'm down at the ground, but I'll kind of, I'll kind of fix this up as I go. All right, so I'm gonna have one little kind of edge here and it doesn't have to be exact, I'm just trying my best, and I might have another layer here, color that in. Then I'm looking up here, and it looks like this is kind of where they have the little railing, so the lighthouse keeper would be able to be safe as they're walking up there to fix that light. Because how important is it that light, if it goes out, um, the people at sea would not be able to see it and know where they were. If you have not seen the movie Pete's Dragon, that is a great movie that shows you the lighthouse. And I'm just gonna add some little lights in here and maybe just the shape of where the light would be. I'm not getting as detailed as this is. I'm getting this a lot more simple and you can tell when it would be all colored in, how nice that would look. And anytime you make a little mistake like that, I just go back and make that a little wider. No big deal. Okay, so on here, if I was doing K Patras, for example, then I would need my little base here that would be different, kind of the little stone like this. And you're just taking it each layer by each layer. And this is kind of similar how you have all this. And this is, you know, a thick Sharpie. It might be better if you used a skinny Sharpie or a pen for this. So I'm just kind of adding in each little layer. And if you looked, it was just like a rectangle line, stripe, 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 stripe. Then I have the little base here, the light. So just kind of building it up. And on this one, this has sort of angled kind of like a candy cane. I'm curving those lines. And then on here, I would have my little stones. You don't have to draw each stone. You can just kind of make little lines that show, hey, this is made of, of brick or stone. All right, so now we come up with our landscape. What's gonna be in the background? Now, in some of these lighthouses, they are not directly on the water. They actually moved one of these um, further in because of erosion. So the sand and the rocks and the dirt on the beach were kind of going more and more into the ocean. So they actually moved the lighthouse 
further back. I think it was Kay Patras, but I could be wrong about that. Um, and they move them back. So you they're not all gonna be right on the water, but we're gonna kind of just interpret how we want these to look. So I am going to, on this one, I wanna have like a big, beautiful ocean scene here, right? So I'm actually gonna put the, the skyline or the horizon line. This is where the sky meets the ground, and in this case, water back here. This gives me a lot of space down here. Could I have a sunset, big clouds? You could have a boat in the distance. Now, right now, this would be floating kind of in the middle. So I'm gonna put this on a little bit of land right here. So here's my land, and then this can all be water. And you could add other bits of land out here. Like I said, you could add boats, waves, sea creatures. This is, you can be creative with how you want to do this. Is this bothering you? This is bothering me. Do we need to color this in? <laughs> okay, so then you want to think on this one, I don't have as much space as I do on my other one. And so I'm going to kind of think about it in a different way. So... I'm thinking on here that maybe this is all gonna be kind of the ground and you can add different things and you can add some, some grasses in there. And then I think this is gonna be layers of water and I actually, you know in the front of the, front of the waves coming in, those are kind of whiter and I'm gonna add some lines like that. And then this is gonna be kind of more that blue water. And I think I'm gonna go maybe to about here and like I said you can have fun you can add you know I'm gonna add some fun little waves like this it doesn't have to look you know super realistic I can kind of make it my own I'm gonna add some waves in like that and then oh look at that I made a little mistake there but guess what I can turn that into maybe that's gonna be like a little seashell here on the water and then maybe I'll draw some other seashells kind of in there because there would definitely be some shells along here, right? So maybe I'll have different things in the sand. And then back here, maybe I will have like a little boat in the distance. Now this is far away, so you would not see a lot of the detail. Maybe this is like a little sailboat out in the distance like that. Um, and like I said, you can have the sky can be any which way you want that Carolina blue for our North Carolina uh, skies or maybe the sunset. And then here I'm thinking maybe I'll put a little bit where this is the sand so I can have some of that green. And I'm also gonna add some little grasses in here as well, little plants, maybe some little bushes coming here. So this is the fun part where you get to come in and add your own details. So I really recommend uh, looking at images of things that you want. I've had um, students draw pelicans, um, sea creatures out here. You definitely, if you're thinking about, if you're doing a lighthouse from a different location, what are the sea creatures that would be there? Maybe you're gonna have a beach scene, so maybe a sand castle, and you've got people here with umbrellas out. How fun would that be if you had little umbrellas and those would be like pops of color? Because this is pretty small. This looks like it's kind of far away. So what if this was the sand and I had all these little bright colors of little um, umbrellas of lots of families on the beach like that? I could definitely do that and kind of come up with how I want the water. I think this would be really fun because I have all this space is to add maybe a big a boat and have a little scene. So this is pretty basic. So this is your blank canvas of how you're going to add in all of your um, all of your wonderful de detail because at the beach you can think of all different kinds of things. I think I am going to add a little sand castle because sitting and playing in the sand sounds like a lot of fun right now. All right, good luck on your lighthouse drawing.